Hello everyone, this is J-Pop, and this is a unique LP that I'm going to be doing. I'm playing Pinbot for the NES, made in 1988. Now, probably most of you don't know that Pinbot is an actual pinball game that you can play in the arcades. And the game plays exactly like it does in the arcade. Here we got a hot 1988 Pinbot chick. And you can play one to four players. You switch off turns, so it's not like you can all play at the same time. And so, I'm gonna enter Pinbot here right now. I am also issuing a challenge to my brother Zero to see if he could beat my score in Pinbot. We used to play this all the time when we were little. In fact, our dad also played it too. And it, it's a very fun Pinbot game. Uh, th I wouldn't say the physics are realistic. In fact, I think they help the player more than against them than most unforgiving pinball games but there were this game has a lot of FUs in it I think to balance it out now the total object of this game if you see up towards the top the blinking row of lights you need to fill that box in because there'll be bumpers to hit on top and off to the right that will help fill in that box once you fill in that box the eye op the eyes open up you put balls into the eye and then then that's when you have multi balls I know this doesn't sound right, but I'm gonna go with it. And you have to put one ball in his eye, and then get one ball to loop all the way around the pinball, and I'll show you how and where to do that when the time comes. And when you do that, you move on to the next phase of the game. And that's the the goal of the entire game. Once you do that, you have you have to start all over by filling in the lights in the middle, getting the balls in his eye, and then loop around again to get to the next phase. So that's the phase of the game and I'll show you that as I go along. Anything else in here will be little knickknacks to how to gain points, how to gain extra lives and things of the sorts. But with any good pinball you start by pulling this and releasing it and you want to get into the middle which gives you the most points. There's the top, middle and bottom portion. Oh, let's see if I can do this. Oh. So as you see as I'm hitting up on the sides of the thing. Oh, see, when you that's how you loop around, is around there. Um, okay, this would be a good time to take a break. You see the solid lights up in the top? Those are the locations that I've hit and filled in. So, I've gotten four on the far right side, and I got a couple spots on the top left somewhere. In the very first time you play this, when you hit a spot, you'll fill in two spaces. But afterwards, after you pa after you tr have your first attempt um, at completing the phase of the game, every time after that, you every time you hit a spot, it only fills in one block. So the first time is much more forgiving than the rest of it. And I still can't hit that vortex zone. I'll, I'm sure to hit a vortex for you guys soon. The energy value when you hit those bumpers, the energy value goes up. That will be for. You see this bl blinking white light at the top left? I know it can be hard to see of where I loop around. If that is showing while I, um, haha, I knew, I know the mechanics of the game, so I was able to get away with that. Um, if that light is showing, when you, th when you try to hit the ball around, it goes in and the energy transfer gives you points. Oh. He says, I am in your control. So now that I fill in all the center, I fill it up. Oh, I missed. Alright, let's see if I can do this. I don't link up, which is what I think it's saying. I could never tell on the NES. Go, go, go. Ah, I fell short this time. Uh, save it. Okay, I can save it. Now, let's see if I can get into his other eye. If you look at the center, you see all the planets. And one of the planets is blinking. I think that is Jupiter. Um, you start off and then you go from Pluto when Pluto was still a planet Neptune you know Uranus and all the way around until you get to the Sun when you get to the Sun something happens and hopefully I last long enough to show you guys now he says now I see you and now I have multi balls so then it's just really just havoc Ugh. if you look up on top I got the ball in his right eye you can't put the other ball back in so now my goal is to try to loop it all the way around to get to the next phase and let's see transfer it do it right here nope missed 
Come on, get out of there. Get out of there. Alright. Oh, and I fell down the right side. And now... Ball pops out of his eye, and now it's back to square one. And... Now watch, every time I hit up on top, it only fills in one block of space instead of two. So the first time is very... Very helpful, and then after that, you're pretty much on your own. Which, I think is nice. Now... Let's see what else. Let's see what I come across with. The, um... Ah, you see how I got that right there? If you look where Neptune is, that blue dot in the center, that is where I'm at right now. Whenever I hit the, um, the ball on the right, when it's glowing, I move up a planet. Also on the far left, you see the three little chip platforms to hit. If you hit all three of those, you also move up a planet. Those are the two ways to move up on the planet. And Okay, whenever I go into that left trigger, um, it makes the light on the right appear. And the light will not go away until I hit it. So, let's see. See, ah, hit all the planets, uh, hit all three of those. Oh, I did it again. And I, so I moved up a couple planets. And when you get to that blinking light, it will do something. Hopefully I can show you when it gets there. Well, you will see when it gets there. I will get there. Alright. I got, well, I did it all too fast. But I got an extra lit ball that was floating around and I grabbed it. If you look at the bottom uh, in between my flippers, there's an orange light on. That means I have an extra, I have an extra life. So... So yeah, that's extra lives are good. <laughs> you always want extra lives. Moving up planets. Now let's see if I can fill the rest of this in so I can move on to the next phase of the game. Go! Uh, I can't get it. Oh, the extra light up on the top left. If you go up there enough, um, you'll get a chance to uh, have a chance at an extra life. Almost kind of like as it sounds. Watch, right here. If I flip my flippers, the orange light that's up here on top, I move it. And you want to move it to where when your ball goes in that you get the extra life. So I got two extra lives now. So this is a real good start for me. Can I get it? Nope. But I get another planet right there. See, the, the physics are not realistic and they seem to help the player a lot. But we'll, you'll see once, once things start moving along how much more difficult the game really does get. Um, you can never get an extra ball at the top left anymore once you get the first one. You just keep repeating 75,000 points every time you go up there. It's points, but there's no extra ball anymore, so it kind of makes me sad. Come on, can I get that? No. Alright. Also sucks I can't pause this game, so who knows how long these videos might, might end up being. Alright. Your control. That's the energy transfer. Whenever you hit the bumpers, the energy transfer value goes up. Um, I think it maxes out at 500,000, but that's how you build up the energy transfer points. All right. Um, if you also look in the center where you have to fill in the blocks and so that the eyes open up, you could still hit on the side and it will start filling it in. So if you fail or pass either of the two and go back to the starting sequence, some of it will already be filled in because you've been hitting it on the side. So sometimes that can be very helpful. Dang. Couldn't get another Vortex. Couldn't get any Vortex. I haven't got any Vortex. Alright, build that energy value. I already got that eye. Let's get the other eye. Alright. Let's do it this time. I'm gonna pass this phase for sure. Get another planet. Ah. Uh -uh. And of course, when you have two balls out, things just get crazy. You want to survive. Okay. Watch. I can do this. Clear shot. Yes! Now this is where the game starts to deviate from the actual pinball game. The game changes colors, and... Ugh. And it's always hard to stay alive and talk. If you look in the back, it looks like a ghost uh, figurine that's going around. That ghost is trying to make it to the sun. And when it gets to the sun, it becomes troublesome. So you want to hurry up so that that doesn't happen, but most likely it will happen. 
So, the only thing I can do is just keep trying the best. All I gotta do is fill on the right side. Alright. Oh, I made it to the sun. I got an extra ball. And if you look at the right, the right little section, it's lit. I was, something special does happen. Oh, I lost the ball. Something special does happen when you get there. Uh, you see that blinking orange light pointing to that thing that I need to hit. And that ghost is getting closer. I'll show you uh, when I hit that. What that does. Well, you'll see. Um, uh, fall in. Get one. No. Uh. Uh, you can also shake uh, the pinball. If you shake it too much, you tilt it. There are very, there are many, many uses for the shake, and I'll explain when I do them when the time comes. All right, that's great. He's in my control, and I'm gonna uh, try to get it up there. Do, 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 do. Okay. Uh, you know, I was gonna try to cut the video, but it's always hard. I don't even know how I could cut the video here in this. Uh, I may have to cut this out in weird parts. I may not even give a goodbye for a next part. I may just sit here and do this all in one run. So, that most likely be the case. So, so I'm just gonna play. And see how everything goes. That ghost is getting closer. Alright. Now let's see if I can pass it and move on to the next phase of the game. Just throw it up. And then the balls go wild all over the place. And that ghost is freaking close. Alright. I got the ball in his eye. Now it's time to set up and shoot. Yes! Alright. There's a way to build the solar value, but I've forgotten what that is. So now we move on to this next phase of the game. And you'll see these birds flying around right there. And sometimes the birds, oh, come on. Ah, okay. Sometimes the birds have missiles. If you hit them, or eventually they'll go away anyway and then let go of the missile, the missile will head to one of your flippers. And if it hits your flipper, it turns gray and it's very, very weak. It hits it again, it destroys the flipper in its entirety. So, if you look at the missile, it will blink at points and then become solid. You can only hit it when it's solid, not when it's blinking. So, you gotta time things right uh, when they come at you. As a kid, I didn't know exactly. Oh, okay, a lot of things are happening. I got an extra ball. I finally hit that uh, thing on the right. And it turned my balls into... God, I lost them. It turned my balls into triangles. Now that they're triangles, they bounce a little... They bounce faster. Uh, a little bit differently, but overall they work a lot better. Can I get that? Ah, oh, I missed that missile. Hop over, hop over. Get it. Alright. Alright, I got two of those. Yeah, that's a little trick that I know. If you hit the right spot and hold it... Um, you could possibly hit two of those and move twice around the planets. Um, no, oh, it's going all over the place. Um, don't fall in! Uh, okay, I'm going to stop this part of the video here right after it comes up. So, it's going to go by really, really quick. Um... When I stop this video. Okay, it gives me bonus points and tells me that I have another turn. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next part.